Hey guys, welcome back to Michigan Great Outdoors. You know, I know it's been a couple weeks I haven't made a video, but we're back here in the barn, in the beet laboratory. We're gonna put this video down for you guys. Take a look at these Hawk Helium Mini Sticks. Very uh, nice budget stick for somebody that wants to get into mobile hunting or just really doesn't want to spend a lot of money. Um, these came available and I hurry up and I snatch some up real quick with some of that Donald Trump money and I'm kind of impressed with them so far. So when they get delivered, um, they come in this box right here. You pull them out and they're all zip tied together and they're put in their little suction cup things here. So this whole package was like this, uh, minus the Versa buttons and then the tree brackets that actually go on the tree. They were, you had to assemble those, but it was very easy to assemble. Um, I didn't even use the instructions. It came with the proper bolts everything that you needed to get them fully assembled. I probably had them assembled in like five minutes. Used Allen keys and uh, you know, the Versa button's got a nice big thick bolt on it. I guess I was a little maybe surprised that this bolt that goes through for the tree bracket's kind of small. It seems smaller than quarter inch. I could be wrong because it is in millimeters, but it just seemed a little smaller than usual. But these are the budget stick, the Hawk Helium Mini. So normally Hawk sells the 30 inch stick and this is a 20 inch stick. So a lot of guys that mobile hunt, they really need packability. I think that's like the biggest topic here in the last year or two, especially with Lone Wolf custom gear really changing and setting the bar with packability for sticks and stands. So a lot of guys were already modifying these. They were taking them from 30 down to 20 or whatever heights they wanted to. And Hawk, they listened and they came out with their own mini stick. So, you know, these are what I would call more of a budget stick. I mean, it's uh, 150 bucks for four of these and you get 80 inches of stick. So normally the three pack, you can find it online for about 120 bucks and it's about 90 inches of stick. But a lot of guys, you know, me included, I, I've never had Hawk Heliums, but you know, that 30 inches, you know, when you're going through really thick red brush or, you know, getting out into those swamps, you know, you can get hung up real easily with those. So everybody's really kind of going to the shorter stick. Um, you can see a B stick behind me. It's a 22 inch stick. I really like that length. 20 is really nice too. So one of the really cool things about the Hawk Helium is the folding steps. Now with Lone Wolf, regular Lone Wolf sticks, you get a folding step, but you only get one. On here, you get the, the, the double step. And for me, I'm a bigger guy. I really like the double step. And these are a very aggressive tooth. Um, kind of even feels sharp to the, the, the touch a little bit. You know, having this double step, for me as a bigger guy, it's really important. It makes you feel really solid on the tree. You can have both feet on either side while you're working, hanging your tree stand or hanging another stick. I really like the double step. It's very nice that they fold up out of the way. And the way this channel is designed, and I'm sure you can't see it, I'll do a close up, but this channel is designed as it just sits right in there and there's nowhere it can go. So when you're standing on it, there's no wobble, there's no shaking, there's no movement, it's really nice. So the tree bracket, I think maybe can be approved upon a little bit. It's not super sharp, but you know, I put it on my cedar tree here and it really did dig in very nicely. And the stick was pretty solid on this tree. Now, what we need to do is we need to test it on some other trees, like some hard oaks or maybe some different kind of maples to see what it does. But on this, you know, kind of soft bark cedar, it really felt really nice. It's got a very big Versa button. Um, so that might be an issue for, you know, guys running the, the two inch loops on daisy chains. You're gonna need the, the bigger loops. On my daisy chain am steel i have the the two inch loops so you might need the you know two and a half two and three quarter inch loops but probably one of the the real reasons a lot of guys like these is obviously the price you know you can't beat 150 bucks for four sticks but the packability and stackability so they have this integrated suction cup system here so it's just you know rubber suction cup and then on the back they got these little plastic studs so you just set it in there and boom i mean it's not you know super tight but it's not going anywhere 
makes a little noise, but I'm sure you know you would bungee this system to your your pack or your bag or your stand platform. If you're a saddle guy, you probably just bungee it to your your backpack with your platform. But really, honestly, I, I'm kind of impressed with these sticks. I mean, they're obviously made in China. I'm sure you can't see this, but they stamp it all over every stick. You know, Hawk is more of a big box company, so you know they sell in Cabela's. I think maybe Dick's Sporting Goods, Dunham's. They are what you call a big box company, but you know it's nice to see a company actually listen to the customers and design a product that they want. Now the only beef that I have with Hawk and with these sticks is their advertised weight per stick. So right on this box, and I'll show you guys, it says 1.8 pounds per stick. That's not even close to what these weigh. So I have a scale that I borrowed from work. It's a uh, Alhas, it's a really quality scale, it's calibrated. I've weighed all my other sticks, you know, B sticks, Shikar sticks, Lone Wolf sticks, and I'm confident that I'm right, but this is a 2.2 pound stick, 2.2. So put it on the scale, it reads at 2.2 pounds. This is not what they advertise. They advertise this as a 1.8 pound stick. So if you're a mobile guy and you're really counting all your ounces, you know, and you get these without seeing this review, you might be kind of disappointed. You know, every mobile guy's trying to to, to limit the amount of weight on their back as much as possible to go further, harder, longer. And you know, we count every ounce. I'm doing the same thing this year. I'm really trying to cut down every ounce I can. And if you cut down a couple ounces out of everything you have that you hunt with, it's gonna equate to pounds gained or lessened. Yeah, less pounds. <laughs> you'll have less pounds on your back. You'll be able to hunt longer, go farther, and be more efficient. And that's what my main goal this year is to be more efficient. So Hawk, this is 2.2 pounds. If you add your buckle, which most guys are gonna use a buckle, you know, that's another 0.3 pounds. So now we're at two and a half pounds per stick. So this whole setup here is now 10 pounds. It's not the end of the world, but you know, people wanna know what they're getting into, especially when you're getting into the mobile game. You wanna know every pound, every ounce. So. Not 1.8, 2.2, 2.5 with the buckle. It does come with the buckle. Uh, the only thing I really don't like about this is these are super shiny. So if I was to hunt with these, I would probably swap them out for the original Lone Wolf buckles. Or probably, honestly, what I'll use after I do some testing is I have some Amsteel Daisy chains. You know, really these are just, they're a nice set of sticks. And for 150 bucks, they really come in at a good price. I'm pretty impressed with them. You know, obviously made in China is not something that you wanna do right now because of everything that's going on. But I mean, my bee sticks are made in China. You know, the bee sticks is designed in the US, it's made in China. It's still good quality. This feels like a good quality. It's a great price, uh, 150 bucks to basically, I'm guessing you'll probably be able to get up at least, you know, 17, 18 feet with these. I think it's a good deal. And especially if you're getting into the mobile game, it's a great way in. I started with this original Lone Wolf and it was a good stick. I just didn't like these little tiny steps that were, you know, you had to move them around. And then I had a couple that felt like they were rocking a little bit. So, I upgraded to a B stick and I really liked it, but this is a premium stick. This is, you know, more of a budget stick. It's a great stick for somebody just starting out. And I know there's a lot of options you can do with guys. So running custom, you know, Amsteel products, daisy chains on here would be a good fit. Um, maybe, you know, tethers, rope mods. A lot of guys are using rope mods. There's aiders that you can put on here, so you might be able to actually just run three sticks with each one with an aider if you like that. So there's a lot of different mods you can do. There's, you know, versatility in all the climbing sticks on the market right now. A lot of guys will stealth strip these. I'd probably take this uh, little model number tag, all these made in China things off. I'd probably change these Versa buttons. But yeah, it's a nice stick. 
All right, so I'm gonna approach these the same way I do with all my sticks. I'm gonna use the, the cam buckle here, put it on, normally hold it here, wrap around, and then get it as tight as you can. You always wanna grab here and pull that bottom out and then cinch this down. So now it's cinched down, and this is about a, a 10 inch in diameter cedar tree. The bark is kind of soft, but man, that thing, that thing's in there. It feels nice. It looks good on the tree too. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I know I mentioned this is a 20 inch stick. Step to step, it's 17 inches. So it's a little bit tighter than a B stick or even a full stick shikar which a lot of shorter guys will definitely like. And I haven't climbed on this yet, but I'm definitely gonna try it out here in a minute. So a 17 inch, it's a little tighter, but it might be kind of nice. You know, we'll have to see. But feels solid, it really bites. Doesn't really look like it's bending at all. I know with a B stick or a shikar stick, they kind of bend in a little bit. Definitely don't see any of that happening, probably because of this really rigid channel design. But feels good on the tree. All right guys, so my final thoughts here on these Hawk Minis. I think they're a really good stick for the price. I'm a little disappointed that the, the weight as advertised is incorrect, but many guys will figure that out. They'll watch this video, they'll see it on forums. A lot of guys talking about them. So, you know, hopefully people aren't buying them, you know, and then realizing that they weigh more than they, they advertise. But I think it's a really good starter stick, maybe even you know, not even a starter stick. Maybe this is a great setup. I don't know, I need to play with them more. I need to practice with them more. I don't know if I'm gonna keep these yet just because I already have B sticks. I have two Shikar sticks. I have Lone Wolf sticks. It's getting a little obnoxious. I might actually try to sell these. So if I do, I'll let you guys know. I'll, I'll give you guys a good price for them. But I'm pretty impressed with them and I like to practice with them more. You know, definitely, I like the system, how they haul. You know, it's a really nice system. It'd be really good with some bungees around it, wrapped around your pack. And I think they're a quality product. And I would I would think if you're looking for, you know, a set of sticks in that, you know, $150 range, that these are a great set to buy. So Alright, so I came out here to the front yard. I wanted to give you guys a realistic showing of the hawks on the tree. I hope you can see it. So I got all four up and I was just up in the tree. You know hanging them and I thought the top step up there was 13 it's actually 12 and that's with an 18 inch gap that one's a little less I mean it's hard to do perfectly when you're in the tree so you're at 12 high and then you can probably step up another three so you're at like 15 foot for a tree stand safely you know unless you're taller and you got a really you know high reach I mean look at this one I mean, that's knee high. Knee high. That one's a little tighter. That one's knee high. So, I get bad sun here, but. So, if you're getting four of the Hawk Helium Mini Sticks, you know, you're really only going to get about 15 foot high. A lot of guys say that that's all you need you know maybe that's perfect I don't know or maybe you could use it you know if a tree's got some limbs you could you know use a couple sticks and then climb up some limbs I don't know but you know that's a real truthful height test hawk helium mini sticks I'm thinking four of them you're only getting 15 foot high safely here at Michigan Great Outdoors we're rapidly approaching uh, that magic number of a thousand subscribers on YouTube so Thank you guys, I appreciate the support. I appreciate you guys watching the videos. If you haven't already subscribed to the page, please do so if you like the content. And uh, thank you guys, I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Peace.